Okay, so welcome again and this particular video is going to <clears throat> make you clear on what are the fundamental skills that you must acquire and what are those basic qualification needs to get a job in analytical research and development. See, this particular department works on analytical method development and also validation. So what is the basic qualification required to get a job in analytical R&D? Graduation or post-graduation either in science or pharmacy is sufficient to get a job in analytical research. Technical know-how. So what are the important techniques you must be well aware with? HPLC, gas chromatography, dissolution, UV, FTIR, weighing balances, scale, titrometry, weighing, uh, preparations, documentation, calibration, validation, in addition to the method development. So these all are the required technical know-how. Now some of uh, these technical, uh, uh, you know, the uh, instrumentations you must have studied during your college. But as a part of this course, we are also going to uh, discuss about all these techniques and technologies. Method validation, method uh, development part is going to be discussed in upcoming uh, videos. So. Technical know-how is very important during your interview also. Because during interview, if you really go and apply for analytical research, you must understand these techniques. You must be able to answer the questions related to how you are going to develop a method by an HPLC. How you are going to select mobile phase, column selection, sample preparation process. So all those are very important technical know-how. And this technical know-how is going to be covered in this particular course. The next important skill that you must acquire to, to function effectively in analytical research is the analytical skill itself, analytical thinking. The first one is problem solving. Ability to approach complex analytical challenges methodically and come up with the solutions. Now, this is very important aspect of your successful career. In case if you have that problem solving mindset and not the problem creating mindset, I think you have the bright future. So always try to understand, analyze the problems. And we are going to talk on this uh, problem solving challenges, analyzing the, any problem in some of the important tools that you are going to use for uh, investigation like five wise. Ishigawa fishbowl diagram, uh, fault tree analysis, failure mode and its effect analysis. All these are very important investigation tools and these tools can help you to solve the complex analytical challenges. Then the data interpretation. See, during method development, especially in case of analytical research, as a conclusion, you have to interpret the entire data. What is the outcome of the experiment conducted? What was your expectation and whether you met the expectation or not. So that conclusion part is very important because based on to the conclusion, you are going to plan the next experiment. The next important point is the communication skill. I think we talked a lot about that earlier also. So clear report, reporting is very important. Conveying analytical findings and the significance of results clearly to cross-functional teams. Now, this is especially required in case you are working on formulation development or drug substance development. Another team is working on actually formulation product development and they are giving sample to you for the testing. And they have certain expectations out of the given sample. What they are trying to understand? Are they trying to understand the, the, develop, the dissolution release pattern? It's expected that you give the accurate result to them so that they will be able to decide on to the next experimental or next trial. So it's very important to have the clarity in reporting, effective presentation, ability to present complex information in an understandable form to non-specialist. So maybe I think uh, formulation development team may not be expert in analytical interpretation. So how you are going to put the information in such a way that they will be able to understand oh, what you have wanted to it's very important to have the effective presentation skill also. Attention to details. I think this is one of the very important skill, not only for 
analytical research and development department but for all the department so at this uh, attention to details means the precision the first important aspect accuracy in performing and reporting experiments is crucial since is crucial since analytical research findings can influence drug development decisions that's what you know based on your result the formulation team the api development team is going to decide whether this trial is suitable for them or not if you give the wrong result the discovery can certainly go on in the wrong direction and in the process the team is going to lose huge amount of time and the resources adaptability is also very important aspect the skill required for to work in analytical research department versatility willingness and ability to adapt to new technologies methodologies and evolving scientific knowledge See many times what happens. The current technology may not be suitable for this new product, and you may have to develop the alternative technology or maybe different approach for analyzing the new substance or the product. So that has to be worked through. So adaptability is very important. Change management, comfort, comfort with adjusting to new processes and organizational changes. This is applicable for all departments, all functions. But being into the analytical research, you also must have this adaptability. Then teamwork and collaboration, cooperative spirit is very important. Sorry, I think I move a little back. Right. So teamwork and collaboration, cooperative spirit. since analytical research often requires coordination with other departments the ability to work well in a team is vital see analytical development department is going to give the required information for product development is that it so they are dependent on to your data and it is very important for you to have that cooperative spirit they need this information because of the product and the project uh, success so you have to cooperate with them whatever test they wanted to be conducted or to uh, undertake those tests and complete those tests within a time the next important point interdisciplinary communication ability to communicate effectively with professionals from other scientific disciplines right so it's very important for us to have the respect for each other and communication should show that respect for each other critical thinking is the next important skill question questioning mindset what is the mean of questioning mindset willingness to question assumptions and interpret experimental result critically i mean suppose you come across any challenge and you have to investigate the root cause behind the non conformity or any challenge you have to ask the questions what might have went wrong so that this has happened the questioning mindset is very important you must be able to ask the right scientific questions to identify the root cause then the constructive criticism ability to give and receive feedback constructively to improve research outcomes you must be ready to take the personal feedback also in the context of personal development and you also must be ready to give the honest feedback about others as well so that they will understand what is improvement into their areas time management i think we talked about time management earlier also and which is equally applicable for analytical research and development department prioritization balancing multiple projects and experiments efficient understand what is the priority to the team and that experiment or that project has to be worked upon so it can be delivered on time deadline orientation meeting project timeline without compromising the quality of the research a very important point be careful while conducting the research don't skip any research step get complete information and then deliver the project so that there will be no any hiccups in the future learning and development so you must also ready to learn curiosity a strong desire you know there's a strong desire to learn new things and stay updated with the latest industry trends and scientific advancement you have to keep abreast with the new upcomings continuous improvement is always going to be the process for everyone seeking feedback and opportunities for professional growth so always be op always open for the feedback 
integrity, ethical conduct. What does it mean? Upholding the highest standards of integrity in research practices. Don't take the shortcuts. Don't manipulate the information that is about being ethical and being integrating, uh, being uh, having the personal integrity. Honesty is also very important. Transparent communication about research progress and any challenges faced. So you have to always open in case if you are facing some challenge, you know, be open with the challenge. That is, I am not able to uh, complete this task because of so and so challenge. Rather than not giving the information, it is always better to give the information clearly so that the department head, the project management, other department can also, uh, you know, come in the place and try to help you out. Resilience, stress management, maintaining focus and productivity under tight deadlines and during complex projects. See, many times what happens, you know, this kind of research and development activities has the targets and the goals. Project has to be filed in the so and so month, and there are number of activities lined up. In case if you get stuck in your activity, the next activities can get, uh, you know, uh, can get, uh, cannot get complete within the timelines, and because of that, the project delivery can get hampered. So it's very important to understand the the completing the deadline for such a complex project and be perseverance, persistence in the face of experimental setback or challenge research challenges in the research problems. It's going to be challenging, isn't it? That's the reason you are discovering this particular uh, uh, molecule or analytical test procedure. You are going to face challenges, that is for sure. But how you are going to bounce back and make sure that you are going to tackle those challenges with the, the skills, with the support of other colleagues for some time. Cultural competence, sometimes it is also very important that ability to work effectively in a diverse team with respect for cultural differences. Right? Your culture, your value can be different from others' colleagues. You need to respect each other's values and the culture and that is very important for a multicultural work environment. At the end, the fresh graduates should aim to demonstrate these human skills through their academic experiences, inter internship, or any collaborative projects they have been part of. So invite this right now, so that these skills acquired will help you in actual professional journey. Thank you so much.